All right, everyone, get ready for this because today we're diving into the future, like the really cool Jetsons-esque future. Yeah, buckle up. We're talking flying taxis, folks. And not just as a concept, but as a reality unfolding right now. Happening right now. We're off to Bangalore, India for this one. Nice. You know, Bangalore, the tech hub, but also kind of notorious for its insane traffic. Oh, tell me about it. We're talking like hour and a half to the airport on a good day kind of traffic. Yeah, brutal. But that's where things get wild because they're aiming to cut that down to five minutes, all thanks to these flying taxis. Five minutes, seriously. Huh? Five minutes, can you even imagine? This article, Bangalore's Next Leap, lays it all out. So walk me through it. What's the deal with these flying taxis? They're called EVTLs, Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Aircraft, super high tech. Okay, I'm intrigued. And the city's partnering up with a company called Sarla Aviation to make this happen. They're gonna be operating out of the main airport. Wow, so this is actually going mainstream. It seems so, which is crazy to think about. This isn't just some small experiment. It's a major city making a commitment to revolutionize transportation. That's massive. And you know what? This EV toll thing, it's gaining traction all over. Oh, yeah. Dubai, Singapore, even parts of the U.S. are jumping on board. It's like we're stepping into the future of urban mobility. And to think, this all started with wanting to get to the airport faster. It's amazing where innovation can lead you, right? And it's not just about getting to the airport quicker either. This article dives into the potential commute times for people all over the city. Oh, really? Like what? They give this example of, let me see, in Duranagar. Yeah, it's like a busy area in Bangalore. Okay, I get you. Right now, getting to the airport from there, you're looking at 90 minutes minimum. And that's if everything goes smoothly. Oof. Yeah, that's rough. But with these flying taxis, five minutes. Five. No way. That's insane. Insane, right. Yeah. And think about it. Not just the time, but the stress. Oh, for sure. No more sitting in traffic jams, watching the minutes tick by. Exactly. You yeah. hop in your flying taxi, enjoy the view, and boom, you're there, relaxed and ready to go. Sign me up. Though, gotta ask, what's the damage gonna be? Flying taxis sound expensive. Yeah, that's what I thought too, but get this, they actually did a cost comparison in the article. No way, really? Yeah, and it's surprisingly affordable, like shockingly so. So we're not talking like only for the super rich kind of thing. It seems not. They're saying it could even be cheaper than regular taxis during peak hours when the surge pricing kicks in. Yeah, well, that is impressive. Right, saves you time, stress, and potentially even money, especially for those who travel a lot during rush hour. Talk about a game changer. Absolutely, but hold on, because there's another really cool aspect to all of this. We're not just talking convenience and affordability here, we're talking sustainability too. Oh, right, tell me more about that. These EV tells, they're fully electric, zero tailpipe emissions. That's huge, especially in a city like Bangalore that's dealing with, you know, air quality issues. Exactly. And get this, they're also designed to be way quieter than traditional aircraft. No more deafening roar overhead. I can get behind that. Right. Imagine a city where you can actually hear yourself think, even with all the hustle and bustle. Sounds like a dream. And it gets even better. The article mentions they'll be powered by clean energy, so it's not just swapping one type of vehicle for another, it's rethinking the entire energy system. Now that's thinking big picture. And it has to be right. Yeah. Cities face so many challenges, congestion, pollution, noise, reliance on fossil fuels. This tackles them all head on. It's like a holistic solution, not just a band-aid fix. And it's not just about today. It's about the future. Building a healthier, more sustainable environment for generations to come. Absolutely. That long-term vision is crucial. Okay, so we've talked about the amazing benefits, the practicalities, but now I want to dive into the more, shall we say, mind-blowing possibilities. Oh, I'm ready. Hit me. This article, it doesn't just stop at, oh, we have flying taxis now. It goes further, paints this picture of a whole new era of urban mobility. Like what? Give me the good stuff. We're not just talking about getting from point A to point B anymore. We're talking about experiencing the city in a whole new way. Okay, yeah, I'm picturing like soaring above the skyline, no more traffic lights, just open sky. Exactly. Uh -huh. Imagine commuting home from work, not stuck in a car, but up above it all, yeah. taking in the view. That's a commute I could get behind, way better than staring at brake lights. Right, but let's be real for a second. As cool as this sounds, there's gotta be challenges, right? This article touches on a few. Yeah, like what 
what needs to happen to make this a reality everywhere? Well, for starters, infrastructure, you can't have flying taxis without places for them to land and take off. True. We're going to need a whole lot of landing pads and charging stations too, right? These things run on electricity. Exactly. And then there's the whole air traffic control aspect. Mm -hmm. We're going to need systems specifically designed for managing all these EV tolls zipping around. So it's not just about the technology itself. It's about building a whole ecosystem to support it. Yeah, a whole lot of pieces have to fall into place. But hey, we've overcome challenges before. True that. Look how far we've come with, well, pretty much everything. And speaking of challenges, this article ends on an interesting one. It asks, would you try a flying taxi? Oh, 100%. No question about it. Really? Yeah. You're not even a little bit hesitant. Not even a little. I'd be so down to experience my city like that and to be a part of something so innovative. That's awesome. I have to admit, I might be a little nervous that first time taking off vertically. I get it. It's a whole new feeling, but I bet once you're up there, it's pure exhilaration. Yeah, got to be something else soaring above it all. And hey, if this takes off, who knows what other crazy innovations we'll see. It's true. This whole thing, it's not just about flying taxis, is it? It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Totally. It's about changing the way we think about transportation, about cities, about the future. This deep dive has been amazing. We've gone from traffic nightmares to a future where we're zipping through the sky. Talk about a wild ride. And it really makes you think, if we can make this happen, what else can we do? Yeah. What other impossible ideas are actually within reach? Yeah, that's something to ponder. It is. And on oh. that note, we'll leave you to it. Thanks for joining us for another deep dive. Until next time, keep looking up.